Oh, hooray. Yes, yes, doggy. In the background, moving the dish. Well, look at failblog.org, and then you can see my picture on it holding graphene batteries. These are all, I, I used a uh, tape to put this one together. Uh, I, I used, this one is the PVA, uh, and it still doesn't dry, and I even went so far as putting a tissue laminate between it. This was a paper experiment to see if I could grow the graphene on the paper. Uh, and well, there it goes. It bro broke apart. This actually is a graphite that I used first to laminate the paper and then grow the graphene on it. And uh, the ometric tests were pretty good, uh, but still nothing. Here's another one where I just left the t and it, it dries out and it still does not do anything. Ugh, it's, it's horrifying. Unless I'm supposed to dry it out, but nowhere did it say that. And then there's more and more and more goodies on the table. But back to more promising things. You can't really see it too well here. You can see a discoloration where it's clear here in the center of the screen. And then a, just a very thin layer, and that is a very 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 thin layer of graphene seems like microwave and glass are my two favorite things because that's where I get the best results obviously you can see where it's thicker where I had baked these in the oven multiple times and stuff like that because this is a this is just a Pyrex dish that I use to bake all these um, and I'm even going so far as uh, purchasing a laser and scribing it by hand because I don't have a uh, one of those disk drives I just don't have it so there you go there's this but here's what's neat you put this in the view and you just take this and you throw it in here like that and you throw it in here like that and you will get some readings every once in a while when you get good contact with the uh, just in this like thin layer Somewhere in here, I'll get something. Uh, it'll come up. It'll get. It'll get hooked. Ah, there we go. There's some, and you can see it looks like nothing. And I'm getting very, very, very light ohm loads. I mean, this is, you know, I'm at 200 k or 2,000 k. Is that right? Yeah, 2,000 k, which is a lot. But to even have any conductivity on a a layer that literally is that transparent let's see let's see if we can that transparent and you can see it's there's grain and everything like that where it's kind of uh, washed around almost like a tidal current <laughs> well hopefully someone will throw it out there and say why don't you try this for your, your battery layers because I have had this is the first one I made over there and Outside of that, I have had just failure after failure after failure, and I have to perfect this before I go to uh, anhydrous solvents and stuff like that because that stuff's expensive, and nobody wants to do that. Anyway, well, there you go. Good luck to me, or to you, whatever.